not looking good. I mean, if you're a flower, if you just planted a garden, if you're all that stuff, uh, we got rain on the way. If you're a, a track and field lover, probably not going to be the weekend for you. We've got slightly dry conditions out there now. And you can see a few scattered showers, but largely just cloud cover across the state. All of that rain has pushed to the north and well to the east. So slightly drier air in with us at the moment, but that's not going to help to break up any of the cloud cover. And man, have some of us seen rain. I don't know if you got caught outside yesterday in the middle of that storm, but that stuff was coming down. And you can see in spots the impact that it had over an inch and a quarter down there in Creston. Atlantic saw an inch and a quarter, nearly an inch here in the metro. Today has just been a case of the light in the drizzlies. Quarter of an inch up in Spencer. Otherwise, we have had no measurable pre precipitation here in the metro and literally just hundredths of inches elsewhere. But even though that rain has been pesky, it sure puts on a little bit of a show. This is a rainbow. And in fact, if you can see the other hazy rainbow here, we got a double rainbow going on this out in Sheridan. So right now, looking at cloud cover, 54 degrees is the current temperature, and it's going to feel a lot chillier than that with that light breeze we've got out there. Highs today topping out in the mid 50s, and you can see we carry that chilliness into the evening tonight. Temperatures going down into the low 40s for overnight lows. But we do have some sunshine on tap. We've got a chance at a few peaks of that tomorrow. Though we're not going to see more than that. Our next area of low pressure slides its way in from the south, and this has the potential to bring even more heavy rain along with it. You can see we stay under this crud for a while tonight. Clouds remain fairly strong, catch a few peaks through the late morning hours, potential for a couple more breaks into the afternoon and early evening before that next wave pushes its way on in. And you can see just how robust this wave is. Heavier stuff off near Omaha, but that's going to ramp up as it pushes eastward. So strong showers will be pushing through into the uh, afternoon hours on Saturday. Could see a little bit of a break into late Saturday afternoon, early evening. I think more likely, though, we still hang on to at least some light sprinkles as the system pushes in. And then we see more rain make its way in on Sunday. So it's going to be a soggy weekend. Mid-50s today, handle the drizzle and even a little bit of light fog out there at times. Mid-40s for highs off to the north, 42 for Decorah. 56 here in the metro, otherwise off to the southwest, pushing 60 degrees. Temperatures take a bit of a dip tonight, 42, and even with a light breeze at 5 to 10 miles an hour, likely going to feel like 30s for most of us, even low 30s if you're off to the north. But we do have 70s on the way, but I wish I could say we had it this weekend. Not going to happen. Soggy conditions linger into Sunday. After that, Monday through Thursday next week, I wish we could just bump those into the weekend. <laughs> yes. But at least we got them coming. I mean, all next week's going to be great. Just